Families trying to pick up the pieces after a stolen tractor, yes, a stolen tractor, slammed into their homes last week. One home went up in flames after the tractor overheated and set the house on fire. Then the tractor came loose and veered into another house next door. Christina Myers joins us live from the scene with the latest. Well, it's been just over a week and the tractor is still sitting inside one of the houses. That's where it finally came to a stop. Now I'm told that the owners of each house are working with NPL Construction. That's the company that owns the tractor to figure out how to remove it and who is going to pay. We cover many stories about cars driving into buildings. And usually the city removes the vehicle right away. But this case is unique. An official with code enforcement says the potential for doing more damage removing the tractor is too high. So the responsibility falls to the homeowner. But because the easiest way to get the tractor out appears to be going back through the other house, that homeowner is involved as well. Meanwhile, renter Anna Schreiber is back at the house removing some of her belongings with the tractor sitting in the next room. There's a big hole in the door and you can kind of look in and and try to guess what's in there, but a lot of the stuff shining a light in there, you can see that what we thought might have made it didn't make it. Anna and her family have already rented a new house and moving out has been easier, she says, thanks to the help of the Rita Ranch Vale community coming together and donating clothes, food and gift certificates. Never seen anything like this community coming together for families and it just trying not to cry because <laughs> I've been doing that a lot. <laughs> but for one person out there, Anna has a very different message. I just hope the person who did this has a conscience and he's feeling very guilty because he could have killed six people. So we do know that the tractor was stolen. Still no suspects in the case, though, and Tucson police can't say right now where the tractor was stolen from. If you have any information, you're asked to call 88 Crime. And again, this happened shortly after midnight, uh, Tuesday, July 14th on Houghton Road near Old Vale Road. Reporting from Rita Ranch, Christina Myers, the Kagan 9 on your side.